What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Mind Something. If you're new here, my name is Jake, and in today's episode, Elethium is releasing over 3 million coins in circulation today, so I figured it'd be a great day to take a look at previous unlocks to see, is it affecting Elethium's price? But before we get into the content, you know the drill. Do me a favor, hit that like, and if you haven't subscribed already, be sure to hit that button, and let's jump into it. So there's been a lot of hype around Alethium over the last few days because of the announcement from Bitmain, as well as Ice River coming out with their own much more superior versions of Alethium ASIC miners. And I know that Gold Shell customers are probably not too thrilled, but hey, We've warned you, and if you didn't see that coming, that's on you. But that's beside the point. What we want to take a look at today is specifically the unlock schedule, the tokenomics, and whether or not that has had any impact on the price of Alephium. So there is a great Medium article that Alephium put out detailing the tokenomics and the emission schedules, and I thought we would take a moment to review some of this before we get into the unlock schedule. So we're going to start with mining emissions. As Alephium uses proof of work or proof of less work, 860 million ALF will be mined and distributed to miners who secure the network as block reward. There is no halving on Alephium. The block reward is adjusted dynamically depending on the network hash rate and timestamp. You will find the full details and calculations of the mining rewards in this article. The core emission schedule works like this. The block reward is bound by two curves based on hash rate and timestamp. At a given time and for a given hash rate, the reward per block equals the minimum between the time-based and hash rate-based rewards. When this article was last updated, the average block reward was 2.43 ALF, resulting in approximately 50,554 ALF mined daily. While inflationary, thanks to mining, Alephium also has deflationary forces. 100% of the transaction fees are burned before the Liam network upgrade in March of 2023. Only 50% of the transaction fees were burned. Alephium's proof of less work will require coin burning when it'll be triggered to internalize part of the mining cost through the upfront burning of ALF. Now, if you want to know more about that, that particular subject is a little bit more complicated, but I think we don't have to worry about that until we get to one exahash, and we're currently sitting at about 1.5 petahash. So we got a little ways to go. However, it might not take very long to get there with the release of these new ASICs, so definitely something to keep in mind. Genesis Allocation and Vesting Schedules. The Genesis ALF are allocated as follows. So we have 80 million or 8% for past and upcoming sales subject to on-chain lock upon sales with varying vesting periods, 30 million or 3% for ecosystem development vesting over four years in quarterly unlocks, and then 30 million or 3% for treasury and team vesting over three years in quarterly unlocks. Please note that according to CoinMarketCap's official methodology, ecosystem and team wallets are to be excluded from the circulating supply, whether the tokens are locked or not. Therefore, these ALF will only be counted as circulating after they leave the original wallet and not after they unlock. Three sales events were held for ALF, seed sale, pre-sale, and private sale. A total of 62 million ALF were sold and locked for periods varying between two to four years. The unlock schedule is detailed below. So here is the full unlock dates listed with the amount. And keep in mind, this includes both the ecosystem unlock and the team and treasury unlock. The remaining 17 million ALF will be used to secure funds to ensure the long-term development and sustainability of the project. This will be done over the medium to long term in a variety of ways from direct sales, liquidity provisioning, and OTC deals, optimizing for minimal impact on the market while improving liquidity, distribution, and circulation of ALF. Now obviously one thing that is going to affect Alephium's price, of course, is the hash rate. And looking at this chart, you can see that back on April 22nd was when the entity uh, began mining Alephium, and they have been selling a considerable amount. We'll look at the 
chart for the price here in just a moment, but as you can see, we went from about 490 terahash to about 807 terahash within the course of a couple of weeks. And since then, it has continuously gone up. Now, we did kind of peak out here around July 10th, and then it started to fall off. We hit a bottom of around 1.21 petahash, but then we had a pretty significant spike on July 20th at 1.7 petahash. We are currently sitting at 1.37 at the time of recording, which is July 24th, 2024. Now, if we take a look at the price of Alephium here over the last year or so, you can see that on April 22nd, 2024, this kind of marked a significant turning point in Alephium's price, and it has been downhill since then until we had the announcement from Bitmain and Ice River that their ASICs were going to release. Since then, we have gone from approximately $1 up to about two dollars and 25 cents. Now I'm using TradingView and what I've done is I've marked off every single token unlock with these green vertical bars. So the first one took place on February 6th of 2022 and as you can see the price was already heading down but it did significantly drop and we'll go ahead and take a measurement from where the price was until the next token unlock. So Lithium's price dropped roughly about 75% in between that time. Let's go ahead and zoom in on this chart a little better and we'll take a look at the next one. Now the next token unlock took place on May 6th of 2022 and according to this we lost approximately 50 percent again now the next unlock took place on november 3rd of 2022 and we dropped approximately 26 percent the next one took place on february 1st of 2023 and we gained approximately 40 percent the next one took place on may 2nd of 2023 and we gained approximately 156% at the time of the next unlock. However, the entirety of the move actually went up about 340%. The next unlock took place on July 31st, 2023, and this one pretty much went sideways at about negative 10%. Next up, we got the unlock on October 29th of 2023, and we lost roughly about 22%. Next up, we got February 1st of 2024 with a significant rally, taking us from the bottom to where the unlock was. We're looking at a gain of about 923% or about 1300% to the top of that particular move. Next up, we've got the unlock of April 26, 2024, and that gave us a move of about 33% from unlock to unlock but at the top of the move, roughly 100%. And of course, we have the most recent one, which as you're watching this video, would be July 25th, 2024. And even with this most recent pump, we are still looking at a loss of about 25%. So if you take all of the information that was provided and we put that into a spreadsheet, this is what it's gonna look like. I have the long-term dev fund, which was about 20% the total current circulating plot. Then we have the main net launch and we released about 6.82%. But as you can see, we go unlock by unlock and you can see the percentage gain or lost in between each unlock. Now we had a great unlock period between October 29th, 2023 and April 26th, 2024. So the January 27th, 2024 unlock had a yield of 916%, and that really kind of skews this average here. So if we were to take that out and just leave it flat, you'd be looking at a negative 8% return in between each token unlock. So currently we have 75,245,255 total coins unlocked from the vesting schedule. And when we are complete, we'll be at 77,183,491. So you can see these last few remaining unlocks are going to be much smaller than all of the previous unlocks. Now how this current unlock is going to affect the price I think would be pretty minimum compared to the previous unlocks. So for example, we started out at about negative 70%. We had a positive of about 153% back on May 2nd of 2023. But as you can see, it seems to be going in the other direction the further we get into the unlock schedule.
Now, if you take a look at this column here, we've got the unlock percentage of circulating supply. The reason that this does not equal 100% of the circulating supply is because the circulating supply will change as time goes on. So the big question we're trying to answer here is, do the token unlocks affect the price of a leaf? And I would have to say, yes, perhaps they do, but it seems pretty minuscule and maybe almost unaffected depending on the price of the rest of the market. And as a whole, if we were to look at the entirety of this chart, if we expected Alephium unlocks to severely impact the price of Alephium, I don't think we would see these massive run up in prices. And you compare this to something like Chlor or Radiant or Nexa or Ergo, all of these other ones, you would see pretty quickly that it really doesn't seem to be having that much of an impact, if any at all. I think the broader market tends to have a larger impact on the price of Alephium here in the short term. Now the announcement of Bitmain and Ice River coming into the game definitely gave us a significant pump, roughly about 100%. We were sitting at a dollar, now we're sitting at about two dollars, but I think that news is starting to wear off. And the big question is, is I was wondering if we would hold support here at about $2.20 if we got above these previous levels. And it looks like we're rolling over with the rest of the market. The sentiment seems to be dying down a little bit. That doesn't mean that I don't think Alephium won't do well. However, I am personally waiting until we get back around the $1.50 mark before putting back anything into Alephium. Now perhaps that's a good strategy, perhaps it's not. I'm sure you guys will let me know down in the comments. And also if I've made any mistakes in this particular spreadsheet, please let me know. That's what the community is for. We educate one another. I hope to hear from you guys down there in the comments. Be sure to hit that like on the way out. And if you haven't subscribed, be sure to do that. And I will see you on the next one.